Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Virtue's Last Reward. In the previous episode, we went through the Balam Garden escape room. That was basically the majority of the episode. We went through the blue door, then did the escape room. And now, we're uh, back to the point where Quark is passed out and then Alice is going to do the scalpel thing and then that's going to be the whole thing next. So let's see how this happens differently. I'm about to go skip mode. Let's go. So the first time we use the Atom Machine, remember, old lady still not on this path. Anyway, no, nothing like medicine. Okay, so we have to recap that what we found in the Bee Garden real quick. I mean, it was just like a park. Lots of vegetation and stuff, but no medicine. What about you, Kay? Was there any medicine in your room? Where did they go? We visited the laboratory. <gasps> They went to the labs. Perfect. There was that's where the Excelivir is. There were a number of chemicals and concoctions there, some of which were medicine, but nothing like what we're that's searching for. That's a lie. For, I'm afraid. Who went with him? Dio and who? No. Who went with him again? Shit. Who went with K? I can't remember. But there should have been Excelivir in there. So somebody's lying. Oh God. He's he's going to. Oh God, no. Look, just to be sure, the three of you went to the treatment center, right? And you're sure it wasn't there? No, there was nothing even remotely like it. You went there too, didn't you? The only thing in the treatment center are those treatment pods. Okay, okay. Treatment pods. That's it. If we put Quark in one of those pods... True that. For a moment, there was silence. Quark? Quark. This is where he freaks oh. out. Okay, let's skip. Skip to the part. I wonder if Alice is the one that's going to grab the um, thing again. Knock him out. Blah, blah, blah. Looks like Alice is the one that grabs the scalpel again. And then she goes disappearing. Looks like we're going to go look for her. We went straight to the lounge to look for her. Let's see how this happens. Remember, last time we did this, we went to look for her somewhere else. Then we made a big roundabout, made it back to the, um, the crew quarters and found her dead. And then we get to redo that. And start from here and then go find her in the crew quarters immediately before she actually kills herself. Let's see what happens this time. No one here, huh? Damn, where did she go? Complaining wasn't going to help anything. I needed to go look somewhere else. Is it gonna go automatic? I guess it's gonna go automatic. It's not letting me choose. So maybe something will happen differently. Remember the first time we went to go look for her, way back when we first when this we first saw the scene with Alice freaking out. We found her in the bee garden with with Phi, not who had knocked her out, or at least that's what I'm guessing. Maybe she just passed out like she did in the other scene with us. I don't know. Anyway, let's just see what happens this time. It may maybe it'll be different. I mean, it has to be. The, the show is gonna go on based on the uh, timeline here, so let's just see what happens differently. But I don't think Alice is gonna kill herself this time around because one of these paths has got to equal nobody dying, right? <laughs> I mean, we've had paths where nobody died, but we keep getting the dead ends, the hit the dead end, bad ends, or locks that we can't get past. Anyway, we're back in the treatment center. No Alice to be found. Shoot, nothing in the treatment center either. We need to find her quick or she's gonna do something bad. If we hadn't stopped Quark. Indeed, if we had I need to hurry. I headed to the garden next. Ah, uh, to the garden. Mm, mm, to the garden. I can already guess what the lock might be on this path, if there's going to be a lock. At least on one of the paths. It's going to branch out, but is there going to be a lock before we get to the branching with the next AB game? We'll find out pretty soon, I hope. But I'm guessing it's because of the fact that we can go to the lab on this path. There was something in the lab we didn't get to mess with because there was information we didn't know, but we know on this path. Anyway, I'd only gone a few steps from the walkway through the grass when I stopped short. Boom! Same spot we found before. Okay. Five. I mean, Alice and five. Oh, here you are. Good. I'm glad you showed up. Huh? I just got here a minute ago. She was like this when I found her. When you showed up, I was getting ready to carry her to the infirmary. Then she's uh, alive? Yeah. Her breathing and pulse seem normal. Okay. She doesn't appear to have any obvious external wounds. Can we skip this? No? Okay, she just unconscious. Looks like it. What about the scalpel? Doesn't look like she has it. Figure okay. she probably dropped it on the way here. Okay. We really can't skip any of this? This is exactly anyway, what I'm saying. Anyway, we need to get her to the infirmary. Indeed. Give me a hand here. Right. None of this is different. Or the same, I mean. Whatever. Alice was lighter than I expected and fine. I managed uh, to set off toward the infirmary at a brisk trot. Okay. 
mean, so far this is pretty much the same as that path. We did go through the treatment center, which last time we went through whatever one we went through on our own. I don't remember. All right, please pay attention, everyone. Pay attention. Luna said so. You need to hear this. Okay. The atom has been... She's, what did she's say? been scanned. Her results are... She has same. Also she's got rad six. This is the same. Why can't I skip this? This is weird to me. It's all right, whatever. On our way back, Fi had gone off to retrieve the rest of the participants. Seven sets of eyes widened as Luna spoke. Oh, no. No. What's going to happen to her? Well, she like going to die. Before, there's only one way to... There's a special antiviral treatment. Do you know what immunoglobulin is? Immunoglobulin. Immunoglobulin? Huh, immunoglobulin? It's another name for antibodies. Some people have antibodies that can fight off Radical 6. Those antibodies are the basis for Excelivir. Oh, so we can go use that machine in the lab to make more Excelivir is what you're saying. Wait, what about those pods in the treatment center? Can't we just stick them in those? Right. I thought of that too, so I went and took a closer look at them. Unfortunately... Unfortunately, they can't cure it. Correct. They can suppress the symptoms for a while, but they can't kill the virus. Well, let's stick itself. them in the pods. Go make some more Excelivir, and then cure them. What do you think? The only way we can help Alice and Quark is if we can. And also, find what about Excelivir? the Excelivir that we found in the other path? Did no one find it, or is someone holding out? That's what I want to know. But the pods will keep them from getting any worse, right? Yeah. See, there you go, Tenmio. Yes. I think it's smart. Well, then what are we waiting for? One of you, grab Alice. We're going to the treatment center. All right. Sounds good. As he spoke, Tenmyoji moved over to Quark and lifted him, lifted his small unconscious body off the bed. Quark shifted slightly as Tenmyoji moved him, and something fell out of his pocket with a soft clink. Maybe he found the Excelivir. I bent down slowly and picked it up. Ha! <laughs> Son of a bitch! He found it. Is this medicine? What? Well, what is it? Hold on. There's a name on the label here. Ex Excel Excelivir. Son of a bitch. You found it, Sigma. That's the one thing that can cure Radical Six. Da -da -da. Uh, why did Quark have it? Perhaps he found it earlier. Earlier we when? The laboratory. Yeah, you did. It was on the other side of the red door. Uh -huh. I happened to notice Quark putting something in his pocket. He did it? He hid it? Whether or not that was his intention is unclear. I did not have the opportunity to ask. As he collapsed immediately afterwards, it didn't feel appropriate to go digging around in wow. his pockets for it after Kay. that. Kay, what a nice guy. And to be honest, it had also slipped my mind. What a nice guy, Kay. What a nice guy. We were rather preoccupied with getting him to the infirmary as quickly as possible. Who cares about the details? We have it. Hurry up and give it to him, Luna. Hey, hold on a minute. What about Alice? Does it really matter if she goes first or not? Um, I'm sorry, but I don't think we can do that. What? There's only enough here for one person. The only way we have to administer this is with the injection gun. And the way it functions, it uses a whole bottle each time you pull the trigger. In other words, we can't split the dose in two or something. Right. Mm-hmm. While we, st we all stood stunned, Phi moved. Stepping over to Quark, she quickly ran her hands through his clothes, then stepped back with a frown and a small shake of her head. But she was hoping to find more? Nothing. That one bottle was it. Do you think there might have been some back in the lab? More back in the lab? No. Unfortunately not. No. Oh, God. Just enough medicine for one dose. Oh, God. Now we have to choose? Only one person can be saved. Oh, boy. Who should we give it to? Alice? Or Quark. What the hell is this? There's no way we're going to only save one of them. And what are we going to do? Do I have to spell it out? We're going to go save them both. How? That's, um... I needed to calm down. Think. There had to be some way to save them both, or save both of them. It was there. I knew it. Yes, it was. Immoglobulin. Immo what? Immunogoblin what? No, I'm just kidding. Do you know what immunoglobulin is? It's another name for antibodies. Some people have antibodies that can fight Indeed. off radical six. IG replicator? See this we knew in another path. Replicator makes it sound like it makes copies of Hell stuff. yeah. So it's like a copy machine. Yeah. Probably copies IG. Whatever that is. Hell yeah. Any ideas? Who knows? Ice cream by the gallon? Yep, yep. Idiot guy or whatever, idiot girl. What was it? I think that's what it was. Anyway, that's it. I've got it. The 
IG replicator in the laboratory. It's an immunoglobulin replication machine. Uh, what? <laughs> it can copy immunoglobulin antibodies. See, that was a lock. If I didn't have the IG thing from... Was it the last path? It wasn't this path, right? It was the other path. Can't remember exactly where we got that, that note for the immunoglobulin. But anyway, we got it on a different path. I don't think we got it on this path, but... We already have it, so it unlocked the thingy, so that's good. Luna just said Excelivir is made from antibodies. That means we can make some more uh, Excelivir. Hold on a moment. There is a strange device in the laboratory that says IG Replicator on it. Clover and I examined it thoroughly when we were in that room. Yeah, we never could figure out what it did, though. Exactly. My question is, how do you know about it? Uh, I just know. I saw it when I was in the laboratory. When was that? Um... Probably when you were looking for Alice, right? Right, no. Dio was wrong. I hadn't gone to the laboratory when I was looking for Alice. I didn't think I'd ever been to the laboratory. So how did I know about the IG replicator? From if a long time ago, true, sir. Then we should be able to duplicate the accelerator. Hell yeah. That would mean we could cure Alice and Quark. Mm. Let's go have a look then. The laboratory, right? Right, right. Yeah. No time to waste. Ain't no time to waste, baby. We all nodded. Wait, we can't leave them here all alone. Luna, do you think you could stay behind and look after them? Oh, of course. I'd be happy to. All right, then. Let's go. Let's make enough Excelivir for everyone. Even though not, we don't know that everyone's sick yet, but who knows? It's just weird. It seems like the timelines are a little weird, right? Like when people start getting affected by this Rad 6. It doesn't seem to always line up correctly with the time. Or maybe it does. I don't know. Because didn't Quark freak out like early on in like the very first path I ever took? Although I don't think he he fainted fast. He just freaked out. I can't really remember off the top of my head. But anyway, whatever. It doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Small details, you know what I'm saying? Yes, of course, we have to walk all the way to the lab, through the map, just like every other goddamn time we have to walk through the map. Ba -ba -ba. But at least we're gonna do something new today, hey, baby. Alright. Let's go, baby. So this is the lab, huh? And yes. Where's this IG replicator thing? Right here. See? So this can copy the Excelivir? I think so. What are we waiting for? Calm down, all right? Don't rush me. Carefully lowered the small vial of Excelivir into the slot on the side of the on the side of the machine. Uh huh. Okay. Empty vial already protruded from the other side. Presumably that was where the duplicated Excelivir would go. Ready? When I push this button, it should. Skip it. Just press the damn thing. Right. And pressed. And... Voila! Wait, what? It looked like a different color. Maybe that's just the shadow on it? Did it work? Have a look. The empty vial has something in it now. And the vial Sigma used remains as it was. It does not seem to have lost any of its contents. Sweet! So... It would have been pretty bad if it hadn't. Indeed. All right. Let's get this thing back to the infirmary. Yo, they look identical to me. I reached down and pulled both vials from the machine, intending to slip them deftly into my pocket. Ah, shit. What happened? Sorry. My hand slipped. You dropped one of them? Yeah. Just one, though. What in the hell? What if you'd broken it, you idiot? Come on. If it'd broken, then it... we could have just made another copy. Before Ten Miyoji could reply, Fi spoke. Uh, guys? Uh, guys? I was surprised to hear her voice coming from near my feet. I looked down to see her staring intently at something beneath the table. Uh-oh. She found another bomb. You see? It did break! No, the vial's fine. See? Yep, yep. She held it up in one hand but didn't move her eyes. Then what the heck is going on down there? Take a look. She slid back from the table quickly and silently. The rest of us bent down to look. Boom! The number two bomb! Uh, uh, bu 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 bu. Whoa. Really? That makes two then. Guess Kay was right after all. Didn't we find the number two bomb in the control room? 
I mean, I guess on this path the control room's not open, but interesting. Okay. So there were more bombs. So it would seem. Okay. Was this here when you guys came through the first time? No, it was not. It was not. Yeah, I didn't see anything, and I looked real hard. I looked real hard. Then somebody must have said it while we were looking for Alice. Who uh, the hell would do that? We were all looking for Alice. Could have been any one of us. No, not any of us. I was back in the infirmary. Quark was still out, so I was keeping an eye on him. So we shouldn't consider you a suspect, is that right? Yeah, Quark's off the list too. But Tenmyoji, you have no proof that you spent the entire time in the infirmary, do you? What? You could have quietly made your way to the laboratory, planted the bomb. That's insane! Listen to yourself! There's no way in hell I'd have left Quark all by himself to go plant a goddamn bomb! Tenmyoji was still staring furiously at Kay when Clover spoke up. Hey, what's this thing? What's what thing? I turned in time to see her grab something from under the table. What? It's like a memory card. What memory card is this? Where was it? Um, right under the bomb. It was down on the floor under the table. Could it have been put here by the same person who set the bomb? There was nothing like it here when we examined this room. Do you think they dropped it accidentally? Unless it was left here intentionally, yes. I imagine so. What do you think's on it? Let's take a look. Could I see it for a minute? Yeah, I guess so. I plucked the card out of her hand and looked around the room. Nothing. We gotta take it back to the fucking infirmary. Let's go. We already know, dude. Shoot. No dice. We'll need to plug it into something that can read memory cards, but I don't see anything here. So what do we do? Come on. If I knew, I'd be doing it. Ten minutes remaining. Oh, shit. Until <laughs> I forgot we were in the middle of an AB game here. My bad. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Uh, guys, I think maybe we should get back to the top floor. You maybe be right. Yeah, you're right. We've got what we came here for. Um, um, what should we do about the, uh, bomb? Eh, just leave it. Not much we can do except leave it here. Alice said it'd be dangerous to touch them. True, but... No Drop buts. It. We can talk about the bombs later. Exactly. Right now we need to take care of Alice and Quark. And then go vote. <laughs> right. So we'll go back to the infirmary, give them the accelerator, then head to the floor A warehouse. Right. Got it. Everybody's cool with that? I think while we're in here we're gonna remember that this there's a do it. TV with a memory card slot. It right. might take a little while, but they should recover. Sweet. Her voice was quiet as she backed away from Allison Quark. In her hand was the injection gun. She carefully removed the empty vial and placed it gently in the cabinet with the other one. All right. While we were in the little laboratory, Luna had moved Quark to a crude cot. They both looked peaceful as they slept. The madness I'd seen on their faces before was completely gone. Are they really going to be all right? Yes. The analysis I did on the files confirmed that the duplicate was real Excelibur. Sick. The original was genuine too, of course. Now that they've been treated... It's only a matter of time before the virus is eliminated. Sweet. I believe so, yes. Oh man, what a relief. I was really worried. Alright, Clover grinned. Agreed. Gave her a reassuring pat on the back. Five minutes. We gotta go play that game, people. All right, everybody. We can be relieved later. Right now, we need to get to the AB rooms and fast. Damn. Son of a bitch. Don't even have time to catch our breath. Indeed. Come on, let's go. The Floor A warehouse is waiting! Is everybody gonna go, or is anybody gonna stay behind? That's the real question. I mean, shit, we don't have to go that far. Plus, Alice and Quark are gonna be fine. They're gonna be fine. They won't wake up in five minutes. Maybe. Alright, so what do we got? Everybody's here. Huh? Where's Tenmyoji? Oh, he stayed back in oh, the okay. infirmary. Okay, so Tenmyo didn't come. Okay, so somebody did save him. What? Why? Well, when we were all heading out, I noticed he wasn't doing anything. So I asked him if he was coming with us, and this is what I got. I'm still worried about Quark and Alice. I think I'll stick around and make sure they're okay. I see. That means that Phi's only opponent will be Dio. Uh -huh. One on one, huh? Ugh. Gah. That's cool. Nothing to worry about. I plan to choose Ally. You know why? Because I've only got one BP. Exactly. If you chose Ally and I betrayed you, your BP would drop below zero and... Well, we know what happens then. I want to win, but 
I'm not that desperate. You see what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Ten Miyoji and Dio are a pair. Uh huh. Ten Miyoji only had one BP left. Since Dio said he's going to pick an ally, I can't really pick anything else. If she does, Ten Miyoji. Ah, will... everybody's <laughs> pigeonholed unless they want to kill someone. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Kay and I are going to be going one on one too, right? Since Quark's still sleeping. That is correct. <laughs> How many BP do you guys have? I've got six. As do I. Well, there's no way you can both get nine, so you might as well both vote ally. So there you go. If one of them can get the other to ally, and then betray that person, the betrayer will have nine There's points. no reason to do that, though. The safe bet is ally both of them, because then they don't lose points, and they're both already close to nine anyways. Look, Kay, I know you don't really have any reason to trust me, but... I know. You would like us both to vote ally, yes? I yeah. I agree. If we were to both betray, then we would gain no points. We would lose nothing either, but that's hardly relevant. If both of us cooperate, then we will both gain two points, which is much more beneficial. If only we all decided that was a good idea from the very beginning, am I right? Right. You're really going to do it, right? Yes. Promise? Promise. Oh, and there goes Clover, going to betray everybody. One minute remains. Until and I only have one point, so no matter what I choose, I'm fucked. <laughs> Shit, this is bad. We need to move now. Yeah, Indeed. yeah. Shall we? So wait, what's my pairing again? I'm supposed to have Alice with us, so it's just me and Luna versus a dead Alice. Oh, we could betray a dead Alice. <laughs> I just thought about that. Anyway, D O K fine Clover all took off immediately heading into the different AV rooms. Counting from the left, we went from uh -huh, K one room four, fine Clover one room five and six respectively. That left Luna and myself. What do you think about taking the one from the far left? Sounds good. On the far left. Sounds good. With that settled, we headed into AB room number one. Okay. Let's play the game. The Ambedex Game! 30 seconds remain. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's probably a little late to say this, but you know Alice is still in the infirmary. Oh, I know. So... You're saying we should pick Ally, right? Since Al Alice is uh, going to default to that anyway. Yes. You think I feel bad? Remember when she betrayed me? I don't, I don't feel bad about it, you know? I know. It's not really fair to betray someone who isn't voting. Luna's face broke into a warm, happy smile. Not to be sappy, but it was like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. I got sunshine on a cloudy day. I grinned back at her before I knew what I was doing. For a minute, the nonary game didn't seem so scary. Ambidex game. <laughs> Ten Until seconds remain. Yeah. Eight, so am I gonna seven, betray her? I think I'm gonna betray her on the first go. Five, that seems like the four, more interesting choice. Three, and I don't know if two, it will lead to the longer ending one. or not. Maybe it'll be the shorter ending. I'm just gonna do it because whatever. We gotta do them both anyways. And the betray one just seems more. It seems like the one that doesn't make sense is the one that get, leads to stupid bad endings anyways. So let's just do the betray first. It doesn't really benefit me that much. It gives me three points when I have one, so fuck Alice. How about Round that? Two. She's going to wake up and be pissed, but I don't give a fuck. Wake completed. up and be pissed. For all I know, if I betray here, maybe maybe one of um, Clover or Kay will betray and, and get nine points anyways, and it'll all be an ending. So let's see. Let's see. Results. Thank you. Who knows? At this point, every path doesn't happen the same way like I thought they would. Remember when Alice fucking did the opposite? If I did the opposite, people are starting to do opposite shit, man. Anyway, we stepped out of the AB room. Why? What happened to... It's not fair to betray someone who isn't voting. Wasn't me, dude. Or at least it wasn't him. It was me. <laughs> I thought... Uh, yeah. There was nothing I could think of to say. Even I didn't really understand why I'd picked betray instead. It almost felt unconscious, like some other part of my mind was making the decision. Perhaps I'd been possessed by some sort of evil spirit that had moved my finger to the betray button against my will. Yo. Guess who the evil spirit is? That's right. You're listening to him, baby. <laughs> right. Well, we should go see the results. Really? We already know what they yeah, are. Yeah, from our side, but what about everybody else? It's just simple math. 
What? Nobody got nine, right? The look in her eyes was more painful than any punch I'd ever taken. I turned away and almost ran toward the projector. Anything to get away from those eyes. It was so sad. Results Let's see if everybody else two. went with what they were supposed okay, to do. Maybe Dio will be super will dick mode. Let's find out. Your... Let's see, let's see. Let's see if anybody surprises us here besides ourselves. Or am I going to be the solo dick on this round? Okay, Quark. Knew it! Oh, they betrayed each other. Everybody betrayed. What? Betray... What? How did Alice betray? Did she wake up in time to go play the game? What? Are you kidding me right now? Everybody betrayed. Not one person pricked ally. Not one person. How is that possible? Are you kidding me? This is insane. What happened? Points have please check. Are you kidding me? Everyone betrayed. There's no way. What? It wasn't possible. I blinked, rubbed my eyes, and looked again. No. How can Alice's vote be betray? That's not possible. Oh, but it is. Alice! She was standing inside the second room from the left. The room that should have been empty. What? My mind was still reeling. Where did she come from? As I was trying to form a sentence, she began to move toward us. From around me, I heard a chorus of muted gasps. It seemed we were united in our surprise and confusion. Alice drew to a stop in front of me and glanced up at the display. Thought you'd get an easy couple points, huh? Not so easy when you have to look your victim in the eye, is it? Bitch! Coward. Me a coward? You got some balls saying that to me after you picked Betray both rounds. Now, bitch. See, now you're on my shit list forever. Anyway, why are you even here anyways? You gave me the antivirus, didn't you? Tenmyoji told me. Thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, honestly. But you should still be under the effects of the anesthetic. Yes, well, I still am. A bit. I have a throbbing headache, and I can barely stand. It's horrible. I'm more resistant to anesthetics than most people. A result of my training. I have a feeling Zero Senior knew that. They gave me way more than the standard dose of that gas when they kidnapped me. In any event, a few minutes ago I woke up in the infirmary. Tenmyoji explained what was going on and I got here as fast as I could. So you showed up right after we'd gone into the AV room? Yes. Right in the nick of time, too. About ten seconds before the deadline, as I recall. Huh. You did that just so you could betray us? Right. What? Don't I get to do that? I mean, it turned out to be the right thing to do, didn't it? Uh, no. Because you would have killed me. Or, or, you would have got nine points. No, there's no or. It would have happened. Both would have happened. You would have got nine. I would have been dead. And fuck you. How about that? How about that? You two chose Betray. If I'd stayed back there, I'd have lost two points. So you're saying it was self-defense? Yes. You're full of shit. Self-defense my ass. You chose Betray because you wanted out. You had six PP. If I'd picked Ally, you would have nine it not you would have had nine. That's what you were trying to do, right? So what if I was? Are you serious? You would have killed me, you bitch. Look, I only have one BP, and remember, that's thanks to you, b b, -b bitch You were this close to murdering me. Just admit it. You were planning to kill me so you could escape. <laughs> Don't be stupid. I knew you'd choose Betray. There was... Tell the truth! That is the truth. How, do you, how would you know? But how would you know? Explain to me how you would know. Why am I the only one getting the third degree here? Look at those results. Two other people just tried to kill someone. Also true. Everyone's fucked up. <laughs> Fi and Dio. Yes. If Dio had chosen ally, Fi would have killed Tenmyoji. And if she'd chosen ally, Dio would have killed her. True that. Very true. I don't want to be rude, but it looks like Clover and Kay tried to trick one another. Also true. Not that it seems to have worked. <laughs> if either one had chosen ally, this got all fucked up. Wow, man. Right I wonder how different this is going to be when I choose ally. Is it going to be everyone chooses ally? Like, basically, Alice. Won't, this part with Alice won't even happen? I'm, I'm actually really curious to see. 
This is insane. All right. <laughs> I turned to look at the results again. Before I'd only pick, been looking at my own, I hadn't realized that there was only one word all across the board, or the roster. Betray. Whatever trust we'd managed to build had fallen apart. Everyone was suspicious of everyone else. Had it been the bombs? It probably was. Or had it been something else? Whatever the reason, if it kept up, we'd never managed to escape. We'd, been, we'd be trapped in a cycle of zero-point rounds for the rest of our lives. Something had to be done. I closed my eyes and took a deep breath. Alright guys, pay attention. You probably already all figured this out, but we can't keep going on like this. If we don't start being a little more trusting, we're never going to get out of here. We need to work together. I might as well have been talking to a wall. My apologies, Sigma, but I need to think on something for a bit. I would appreciate being left alone. Okay. I'll be leaving too. Things are getting a little too intense here for my delicate constitution. Sorry. Dio? Well, in that case. Et tu, Fi? Yeah, sorry. Et tu? Why, why would you say it that way? I said, and I said, I called her Fi instead of Fi. Anyway, without another word, she turned and left the warehouse. Dio and Kay quickly followed suit. Wow, everybody's just See? out. There's your answer. In the end. Everyone's just thinking about themselves, so I would appreciate it if you could not treat me like I'm the only villain here. Come on, Clover. Let's go. Fuck you. Hold on! I'm coming! Good. Are you feeling okay? I was really worried, you know? I watched them walk away, Clover practically jumping with delight to have Alice back. Before long, they reached the yellow door and disappeared beyond it. <laughs> disappeared beyond it. Is that what I said? It didn't sound like that's what I said. Everyone's gone. Everyone's gone. You aren't going to leave too? No. Are you sure? I chose Betray. I know, but I still believe in you, Sigma. I think your hand must have just slipped or something. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It slipped. The devil on your shoulder named Funky told you to. Right? Right, right, right. My chest hurt, and when I blinked, I felt something hot and wet prick the corners of my eyes. Luna, I... I bit my lip. Before I could think of anything to say, the metallic rumble of the doors closing that go through the warehouse. Yeah, we didn't even get to the point where we got to see the new colors for everybody. Good lord, man. Good the lord. Gates have closed. Okay. Round three. Round three, star, star round, star keys, no unlimited, we know. As many times as we want, huh? Yes, as long as we have the star keys. That means we can keep playing the AB game over and over, too. Indeed. Um, Sigma? Could you show me your bracelet? Why? Do you remember what Zero Jr. said? Which part? The closing of the doors and everything shuffled. Yep. Yeah, I remember. Uh, let's see here. Blue pair. I'm a cyan pair. What about you? Magenta I'm a magenta pair. pair. Okay. I wonder what the others are. It could be anything, I suppose. We won't know until we have a look. Hmm. We've got about... 80 minutes until the next set of chromatic doors open. So, what should we do now? Everyone else has gone off on their own. Yeah, physically and emotionally. I really don't like how this is going. Won't matter how many times I repeat the AB game if nobody trusts anybody else. We'll never get, be able to get the fuck out of here. Maybe it would help if we all had a common goal. Something to unite our hearts and minds. Yeah, but we've already got something like that. We all want to get out of here. That seems to be a pretty clear goal to me, but everybody chose Betray. Including me. Well, what if we have an enemy? An enemy? Yes, a common foe. Like the person who set the bombs, for instance. After coming back from the lab, and I told her about the bomb well, she gave Alice and Quark the accelerator. Hmm. Yeah, that might work. If we can figure out which one of us planted those bombs, then everyone else would work together against them. Right. But how do we figure out who it is? Well, do you have any clues? Um, hmm, clues, huh? That's right! The memory card! Duh! I pulled it out of my pocket and held it out toward her. What's this? I told you, a memory card. It was the, it was under the bomb we found in the lab. I think whoever set the bomb dropped it. Really? Yeah. I don't know what's on it, though. We couldn't find any of the memory card reader. We couldn't find any kind of memory card reader. Oh, 
I guess we can't really use it then. Except for I know exactly where we can use it. Oh. Oh. Wait a second. Wait a second. You know what? I think I might have seen something. Huh? Yes, I remember. The infirmary. Indeed. I saw it when I was searching the infirmary with Theo and Quark. There was a memory card just like that one. Then... Yes, I think we can see what's on it. The computer there should be able to read it. Sweet. Dude, this has to be who like helpful in figuring out who the fuck planted the bomb, right? It has to be, right? God, it has to be. All right. Uh-oh, Luna and I exploded in the infirmary, merely running into Alice, Clover, and Tenmyo, and probably Quark's in here as well. Yep. Quark was there as well, of course, but he was just as we left him, asleep on the bed. What are you doing here? I opened my mouth to retort, then thought better of it. If I really wanted people to start trusting each other, well, real change starts at home. Yeah. As quickly as I could, I explained the second bomb in the memory card, and how we come to the infirmary in hopes that we could discover the contents of the ladder. Okay. Then stick it in already! Go ahead. Who planted these bombs? I really want to know. Who could it have been? It could have been Alice. It could have been Dio. Hmm. I'm trying to think of, like, who else it might have been. Could have been anyone. Fuck. Could have been Fire K also. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Right. Just as Luna had said, there was a small slot under the screen, exactly the right size to fit a memory card. Within moments, the screen was filled with what appeared to be random letters. What the fuck? What is this? Hmm. Six rows, 22 letters each. It looks like the odd rows use one set of letters, and the even rows use another set. In other words, the first two rows just repeat. They do. They do. Interesting. Okay, so the two rows just repeat. Yeah. Is this some kind of code or something? It doesn't look random to me. I think there might be a pattern. I just don't know what it is. Was there anything else on there? No, it doesn't look like it. So all we get is this gibberish. Hey, Alice, you haven't said anything for a while. What's up? Does any of this look familiar to you, Clover? Um, what do you mean? Have you seen something like this before? Maybe during your training? Training? Uh, this is... So you do recognize it. What? All right, knock it off, you two. How about you share it with the rest of the class? Alice sighed and stretched her neck from side to side. I believe this is an encoded message from a terrorist organization. Dio planted the bombs. What? They call themselves the Myrmidons. Yup, Dio planted the bombs. That son of a bitch. Myrmidons? For some reason, I felt like I'd heard that name before. What are the Myrmidons? Put simply, they're a bunch of thugs who are trying to destroy or dismantle most of human civilization. Mm -hmm. So this thing we're looking at, you think it's theirs? Well, they have a number of different codes, but I do think this is one of them. Then the bomb? It was set by one of the Myrmidons, wasn't it? Yes. Well, I can't say for sure, of course, but it seems likely. Okay. Ah, uh, damn. I have got a ton of questions for you, but I let but let me start with this one. What the heck does that thing say? I don't know. What? How am I supposed to decode Oops. it? I didn't mean to go auto. That was my bad. How am I supposed to decode? I don't it? have the key. Without a key, it would take literally hundreds of years to decode. I may have some uh, some code. Let me open up my notes because I do have I have these written down or typed out. I wrote down all three of them. I have bomb zero, bomb one, and I have second gate. Um, yeah. The second gate one came from K. Bomb zero we got from D Dio's ending, and bomb one we got from, uh, zero junior, or zero senior, or whatever. Zero, the real zero, the one we, the projection. I think those are the only three codes I got. And based on what those letters are, none of those letters match here, at least not in any sort of order far as I can tell, so they must not help me figure out anything on the well, maybe. 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 LX. No. Okay, so none of the letters really match up here. I'll just tell you that now. The letters are all pretty much here, but they don't match anything here. The letters that I have on my notes, so they must not be helpful for this moment. But, the fact that we know Dio is in the Mirror Minions and another path might help us figure out who planted the bombs in the other paths? I don't know, let's see. 
What about you, Clover? Well, if Alice doesn't know how, I sure don't. Uh, see. <laughs> hmm. Not much we can do then. We can come back to that code stuff later. I've got another question. Alice, Clover, who the hell are you? Why do you know about this code? That's... You told me your job was to eliminate enemies of the state or something like that. Just what the hell kind of job is that? I think it's time you told us what you do. Do it. Do it. Sorry, but I can't. Why not? Because you might be one of them. You might be the person who set nah, the Nah, that ain't me, bitch. That's idiotic. Of course I'm not. Really? And where's your proof? For all I know, you're my enemy. I can't tell you anything. I'm not your enemy. I'm your ally. I'm your friend. I just want all of us to get out of here. Just please tell us. Please. We need to find out who did this so we can all escape, man. But we have too little information. We need your help. Fine. If you won't tell us about yourself, then just tell us about the Mere Middens. What else do you know about them? I'm sorry. Before I could blink, she'd leapt up and run out of the room. Bitch. What a bitch. Hey, wait, Alice. I took off after her. Okay. Time to have a heart to heart with Alice. How long are you going to keep following me? Until you tell me what you know? Then why don't you just ask Clover? Clover? You already know she works with me. Well, yeah. Then why don't you... I wanted to hear it from you. Why? Because you're a bitch face. That's a good question. Remember the crew quarters or this garden? We got paired up for two separate rounds. That means I've spent more time with you than anybody else here. Maybe that's it. I guess I'm just curious about you. What are you talking about? Don't be all flattered. I just want to know more info, bitch. Anyway, she spun around to hide it, but I caught a blush of red on her cheeks. We walked down the path to where it ended next to the pond. Oh, shit. Are we going to, like... Maybe look at that grave and maybe get some more info out of that, too. That'd be nice. I stayed silent. Alice sat down on the bench. We gazed at the smooth surface of the pond for several long minutes before she began to speak. You don't hate me? What? Why? I... I tried to kill you. You mean in the A.B. game? Yes. I was so scared. Who wouldn't be? kidnapped and locked up, forced to play some sort of bizarre game, and then we found that bomb. I know I probably sounded calm, but as soon as we found that thing, all I wanted to do was run away from it as fast as I could. Things just went downhill from there. What do you I mean? I remember hearing that Quark had collapsed and running to the infirmary with everyone else. When I got there, I realized I couldn't understand what anyone was saying, and everything looked... I don't know how to describe it. It was like watching a video on Fast Forward, only it was real. Then I started to feel like... It's hard to explain. I guess you could say I didn't feel like I was myself, and it only got worse. That was probably yes, the Radical I Six. So. I don't remember much after that, but when I woke up in the infirmary, suddenly all that fear was back. So I... All I could think about was getting out of this place as fast as I could. It never even crossed my mind that it could kill you. God help me, it, even if it had, I don't think I would have cared. What a bitch face. What did I say? Bitch face. See? I'm horrible. You hate me, don't you? I mean, you're, you're a bitch face, but I don't hate you. Just do it! Do what? What? Do what? Kill me! What? Get it over with! What? The hell, Alice? I'm not gonna kill you. I don't even hate you. You're lying! I could have killed you! I would have killed you. Come on, calm the fuck down. No one's killing anyone. Not in this path, anyway. A single tear rolled down Alice's cheek. Then another, and another, leaving shining lines across her face. When I reached out, I saw her tense just slightly. Slowly, I brushed my thumb across her cheek and off. Across her cheek and off, taking te her tears with it. Aw, oh, how, how nice. How are you doing this? You know, you kind of remind me of my father. Uh-oh. It's love at first sight. <laughs> That's who you were after, right? The people who killed your dad? Yes. Did they have anything to do with the Myrmidons? The Myrmidons? Will you promise not to tell Clover that I cried? Ha, come on. You keep your mouth shut. I'll tell you what you want to know about myself and about the Myrmidons. Deal? Deal. 
Sure. My lips are sealed, baby. <laughs> what crying? I don't remember any crying. Good. All right, then. Alice took a deep breath and began. Here we go. The Alice story begins. I'm excited. My father is Egyptian, but my mother is French. They met while my mother was in Egypt on vacation and married shortly thereafter. When I was three, I, we, moved all, we all moved to the U.S. My father was a scientist, and his field was cloning. He was recruited by an American lab, which was why we moved. So her dad was a clonist? Interesting. Both of my parents had used English around me from the time I was born, so I didn't have any problems adapting to the life in the United States. By my ninth birthday, we'd been here for six years. That was when it happened. In the middle of the day, my mother showed up at school. Her eyes were red and puffy, and she didn't say anything to me on the drive home. When we arrived, there were several policemen there to meet us. My father had always been a very punctual man, and when dinner time came and went with no sign of him, even I began to realize something terrible had happened. It wasn't until several years later that I had finally learned the truth. My father's lab had been attacked by terrorists, and, had, and he had been kidnapped. Probably by the Myrmidons, who uh, uh, deal with cloning, and Dio's a fucking clone. Didn't we learn all this already? I mean... Now we can connect that together, though. For the rest of my childhood, my mother raised me by herself. I didn't realize it then, but it must have been incredibly difficult for her as a single mother alone in a country where any relatives were a transatlantic flight away. She did her best not to let me see it, but every so often when she thought she was alone, the mask would fall away, and every, in every line of her face I could see exhaustion and loneliness. As much as I missed my father, it was those moments that made me wish more than anything that he'd never been taken. Fortunately, I was an excellent student and did especially well in math. I earned a full-ride scholarship straight out of high school and spent the next several years studying. After graduation, I took a job with the Department of Defense, hoping that they might have the resources to help me look for my father. I was immediately assigned to the Special Office of Internal Security. Their purpose is to investigate and sometimes deal with terrorist organizations and other serious threats to the state. I could tell my mother wasn't happy about my decision, but she chose to remain silent about it. Eventually, I learned about the terrorist organization that had taken my father was none other than the Myrmidons, although at the time that name didn't mean anything to me. They were suspected of human cloning. Specifically, it was thought that they had been using cloning techniques to copy their most useful members and expand their ranks. The Myrmidons apparently believed that they could use cloning to create a new race of humans. Now at last, I knew the reason for my father's abduction. The commander of the Myrmidons is a man named Left. We know his name and his gender, but not his appearance or age. The Myrmidons are closely associated with a cult known as Free the Soul. We believe that Free the Soul provides their funding. But trying to pin any kind of misdeeds on the cult's leader, a man named Brother, is like trying to nail Jello to a wall. Brother is supposed to be fairly advanced in years, and rumors say he's so old he can't even get out of bed. Unfortunately, his mind seems to be as sharp as ever. At that point, I hit a wall. I knew the Myrmidons had been beyond my father's kidnapping, but that was all I could learn about them. Then one day, I got a tip that some of them were hiding in a building in the Nevada desert. I headed out immediately. On the way there, my car had some engine trouble and stalled out. I was trying to decide what to do when an SUV appeared out of nowhere. I'll give you one guess who was behind the steering wheel. Clover. That was the first time we met. There were four other people in the car with her, and when I asked them about or what they were doing, I got what was just about the last an answer I expected. They told me they'd been locked up inside the very building I'd been on my way to investigate, and that they were currently in pursuit of the people who had kidnapped them in the first place. My priorities shifted very quickly. After a short discussion, I convinced them to follow me to come al to allow me to come along. My hope was to find the people that were chasing, who I was certain were Myrmidons. In the end, however, we were unable to track them down. In fact, I still don't know where they might have gone. Eventually, I took Clover and her companions to SOIS headquarters. We decided that involving the police would only complicate things. After some questioning, it was determined that the people who had instigated the that particular event were not connected to the Myrmidons. We did, however, discover that the mysterious disappearance and subsequent reappearance of several children nine years prior was connected to the Free the Soul. Huh. Interesting. There was also a sixth person in the USUV, although they weren't riding in it per se. A middle-aged man who I'll just call H for now had been bound and placed in the trunk. That would be Ace. According to the other four, he had been behind the disappearance of the children nine years earlier. Yup. We also learned that his pharmaceutical company, a major player on the world stage, was effectively controlled by Free the Soul. More specifically, I suppose H was a member of Free the Soul, and very committed to their cause. So why had he kidnapped all those children? Apparently it had been part of an experiment designed to test the ability of certain people to access what's called the morphogenetic field. I don't know, imagine you've ever heard of it before, so I'll try and give you a quick rundown. 
<sighs> this again. Simply put, these people can access sort of field that allows their consciousness to resonate with consciousness of other people, certain other people. To be honest, it might be simpler to just call it telepathy. SOIS had heard of this particular ability before and had actually used it in a number of investigations, so I wasn't surprised to learn of its existence. I was shocked, however, to learn that the free experiment or that these experiments had been carried out by a member of the Free the Soul. If that was the case, then Brother must have known about it. The thought of him discovering a way to control and harness that power was terrifying. It wasn't too long after the incident in Nevada that another tip about the Myrmidons crossed my desk. This time, it claimed that the Myrmidons intended to launch a large-scale biological terrorist attack. My bosses decided that we needed more agents to deal with the threat of ma that magnitude, and Clover was recruited. Because she'd been a test subject in H's experiment, we knew she had the ability to access the morphogenic field, and we wanted to put that ability to use. After several months of training, she was sent on her first mission. She would be tasked with the infiltration investigation of a Myrmid in cloning lab. I was assigned to her, be her commanding officer. I hoped that our investigation might also give me a lead on my father's whereabouts. At last, I had a chance to find out what had happened to him. I wouldn't let that chance pass me by. Perhaps that was what, was what kept me from noticing the truth. The whole operation was a trap. The lab was fake, and Clover was captured almost immediately. I got there as fast as I could, but when I arrived, the building was only an empty shell. All of the conspirators who had pretended to be researchers and the like had already fled. I searched frantically for Clover until at last in a basement room I found her. She had been tied to a chair, but on the floor next to her was another body. What? It was my father. He looked as if he'd been just been dumped there, and when I got to his, him, his body was already cold. He was covered in dark, ugly bruises. It wasn't until later that I learned that he died from ruptured organs and internal bleeding. They had beaten him to death. As soon as Clover had been captured, a Myrmidon in a mask had come to visit her. He'd said that unless she wanted to end up like my father, she would have to, she would leave them alone and tell her masters at the SOS to do likewise. In retrospect, they must have known who I was and who my father was. That was why they'd killed him. Perhaps they thought they were sending a message to me. Or that once he was gone, I'd lose my reason for chasing them. They were very, very wrong. I took Clover with me and left. I tried to console myself with the fact that I had at least been able to save her. <sighs> Sometime later I received a call from the coroner. He told me that there was something I needed to see. There in the morgue was my father, cold and pale, on the steel table. I could barely stand to, to look at him, but the cor coroner insisted. On his arm were two rows of numbers, com compromised of eights and nines. It took me a moment to recognize my father's handwriting. He had carved them into his own skin. On his chest was another message, that they were letters this time, not numbers. Not many, just enough to make a short sentence. I love you, Alice. <laughs> what? I broke down crying right there in the morgue. They were the first tears I'd shed since the operation had started, and there, were no, there was no stopping them. There, was no, there would be no forgiveness. Not for the monsters who'd put my father through this. They destroyed my family. I would make them pay, even if I had to die to do it. That night I made a promise to myself. I would avenge my father. It didn't take long to figure out the numbers that the numbers he'd written were latitude and longitude. They pointed to a chemical factory that had been disguised as an abandoned building. Further investigation revealed that it was the mother load we'd been looking for, the headquarters of the Myrmidons. I think my father must have known how things would turn out. Knowing he was going to die, he'd written the directions to our enemy's fortress on his own body. He'd sacrificed too much for me to waste on this opportunity with recklessness. This time, our operation would succeed. This time, I wouldn't let my excitement put Clover or any of my other agents in danger. So we took our time, we gathered information, we did our research, and we planned. Finally, we were ready. December 25th, 2028 was going to be the day we finally set foot inside the Myrmidon stronghold. But then on the 22nd, only three days before the operation was scheduled to begin, a man in a gas mask appeared. Son of a bitch. So you inhaled the gas, passed out, and woke up here in the A.B. room. Yes. Well, there it is. Everything that's happened with the Myrmidons and me. I left a few of the details out, of course, but you get the idea. Yep. Thanks. She gave me a sad sort of smile and stood up. We should go back. Not yet. Your story explained a lot, but there's still one big question. Which is? Who here is a Myrmid? One of us planted the bombs. And based off the code we found, it's pretty clear that person is a Myrmid, right? Yes. Okay. And I agree that we need to figure out who they are. What do you propose we do? Well, that's what I wanted to ask you about. Do you have any clues? Clues? Hmm. 
Well, if I could decrypt that code, it might tell us something, but... How can we do that? I told you. We need a key. Without that, it's pointless. What's a key? A key is a key. It allows you to sort of unlock a code. The Myrmidons usually use this huge string of numbers as a key. Wait. A long string of numbers. Could that be? Dun dun dun! Whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't write all this down. Was I supposed to write all this down? Shit. Whatever. I hope the fact that Sigma remembers it is a good thing. I'm not gonna read all the numbers. What the hell? <laughs> I was almost as surprised as she was. The numbers were, had just kind of appeared in my mind and I was saying them before I knew what I was doing. Alice looked at me incredulously and I stared back. Where did... Wait, can you say that again? Uh... 7815365 That's 198,449,351 to the third power. What? That number you just told me. Prime factor decomposition on that number gets you 198,449,351 She said she was good with math. She won line. You're talking about reducing an integer to a series of prime numbers that you multiply together to get it, right? Like, if you have 30, then you'd get two, five, 3 and 5, right? Exactly. Uh -huh. You probably learned that in junior high, right? Indeed I did. So you're saying that blah 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 is a prime number. And if you multiply it by itself three times, you'd get that big ass number. Yes. Don't tell me you did all that, just, just did all that in your head. I did do all of that in my well, head. Well, you're a fucking genius then. Simple mental arithmetic. Doesn't mean you're not a bitch face though. What? No, no way. That's impossible. I told you, I'm better at math than most people. That's not better at math. <laughs> Look at you. You just recited a huge string of numbers. That seems pretty astounding too. Very true. Touche, touche. Where did you find that number anyway? My brain? I... I didn't know what to say. What would I tell her? That it just came to me? Can't tell me, huh? Fine. I'm pretty sure that's the key to the code, though. I know the Myrmidons use prime factors for their keys. And there aren't a lot of 25-digit numbers that turn out to be the third power of the prime number. I think there's a very good chance that number you memorized was specifically created by someone. Uh, could you explain that with uh, small words? Well, look at the prime factors of your number. 198,449,351 to the third power. I think that's our hint for cracking the code. You still don't get it? Nope. Try to remember the code we saw in the infirmary. What did it say on the monitor? Um, I think the first row was... Yeah, all those letters. And the second row? Bunch more letters. I think. Then they just repeat. Wow, you've got a pretty impressive memory. We could really use someone like you back at the... Um... Well, keep going. How do we decode that? You use 198,449,351 to point you to the right letters. How do we do that? Well, the first number is 1, so take the first letter. The next number is 9, so go 9 letters over from the first one. Then eight from nine. Oh, interesting. So one, so it'd be C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine would be O. Eight would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, M, C, O, M, C. It's starting to spell something. Just keep going until you get something. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. I ran over what she said again in my head, or she, she, she said, she said in my head. Prime number Alice had given me was 1984 should I be writing this down? I'm gonna write this down. Let's trash this shit. Alright, we got one nine nah, just in case. It might not make me remember this, but I can figure it out myself before the game does it. I'm th okay, whatever. Four nine That's not a nine, now it's a nine. That looks like a four, but whatever. Three That's a three. <laughs> Five one. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Ugliest set of numbers I've ever seen in my life. Got it. Nailed it. Alright. So what would we get if we picked our letters that, like she'd explain? First letter would be C from top left. Then you'd have C. Okay, it's going to do it for me. Give you O. Eight more. Eventually we'd get a word. And that word was? Oh shit. You'll have six chances to succeed. Fail and the game is over. 
code sheet won't be displayed when you input your answer, so it would be wise to solve it now. Okay. I mean, I just wrote it down, so... Remember, the key is 19844-9351. I just wrote it down. Closing this window will take you to the input screen. Got it. Okay. Oh, crap. Ah, crap. I... Crap! I... Ah! Oh. Crap! I wasn't done looking at it. No! I didn't mean to. Crap. 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 It was C-O something. Fuck. What word starts with C-O-M? And fits in this. Fits in this. Computer. Nope. Nope. I wonder if I could guess it if it's a word. Come, come, complete. No. <laughs> Why did I do that? It was an M, right? Shit, now I don't even remember. <sighs> Hold on. Is it in here? I don't think it's in here, right? Report. It's not in here, dude. Why is it not in here? Is it in here? I don't want to read these, but if it has the thing for the picture of the, of the thing, I don't want to read any of these, by the way. Jumpy doll. Oh my god, there's so many things here. Uh, there's so many things here. I don't want to read them. Oh my god, dude. Okay, uh... Fuck! What am I... Why did I do that? Can I reload my save? Oh my god. Please. If I get a game over, what does that mean? I mean, I can fast forward through it, right? Fuck me. What's a word that's, start, that's this many letters? Commish? No. Come, 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 cool, uh, keep it up, ba, 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 It was like, I don't even remember if it was C-O-M, dude. Honestly, I don't even remember. I know it was C-O. Maybe it's Colorado. Colorado doesn't fit, does it? No, it doesn't. Communication. Communicate. Nope. It won't fit. Uh, come, uh, commander. Commander fits. Not gonna work. Not gonna work. Never gonna happen. Oh, look, I got it wrong. Uh, copy. Copy something. Ah, fuck! Why did I do that? God damn it. Alright. I'm just gonna get the game over, I guess, and I'll meet you back here at the code. Because I'm not going to get it without the fucking code. Ah, I'm so mad at myself. Anyway, I'll meet you back at this. I'll see you guys in the next episode where I'll fucking fix this shit and get it right. God damn it. Peace. Or wait, maybe I'll show the game over. Hold on. Let's see if the game over is like a real game over. Let's see what happens. I might as well show it. I might as well show it. Alright. Ah, there it is, dude. I fucked up. I fucked up. Ah, I can't figure it out. You what? Are you serious? Hey, get off my back. If I don't know, I don't know. What? Ugh, just forget it. I'll figure it out on my own. Damn it. She stalked off. Wait. I went to follow her, but... Stay where you are. I don't have any use for another brain dead Hey, man, man I fucked up. My bad. I, I clicked the button. <sighs> her voice was unexpectedly furious, and it stopped me cold. She fixed me with an icy glare, then turned and stalked off. I stayed frozen where I was and watched her go. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Nah, all right. I'm going to fix this in the next one, guys. My bad. I'll just... I'll, obviously, I'm going to get right back to that screen. I think what it's going to do is going to kick me out of the game and go back to the... It's going to go back to the... It's going to be like the other one where I didn't know the code for the computer. It's going to be like that one. It's not going to be a lock, per se. It's just going to be a, you know an ending that you can't fix, or that you can go back and fix, basically. <sighs> yep, 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 yep. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. We'll get the code. I'll see you guys then. Peace!